Puget Sound starts in a rain garden. 10 bathtubs full of water. That's how much rain pours off one average sized house during a good sized drenching. In a typical year, approximately 26,600 gallons of runoff rushes through the gutters and down the downspouts of that one single home, my house. To maintain the stormwater pollution drainage system is very expensive. What if we could slow down the rainwater and infiltrate it on site? We did. It's called a rain garden. This is the roof. All the rain comes through the downspout. We redirect it into our rain garden, stake it out, test for the soil's ability to percolate rainwater, strip the turf, dig the pit about 24 inches deep with a wide flat bottom to temporarily pond water during a heavy storm event, which might happen three or four times a year. Mix in compost for really healthy soil. There are billions of microorganisms in a teaspoon of good soil. The soil food web is crucial to binding up, digesting, and breaking down polluted runoff. Fill the pit about 12 inches. Taper the edges. Select the right plants. Plant them. Plant them with love. Cover the small plants with mulch and take care of your rain garden. Year after 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 year. This is our demonstration rain garden. Our team builds five or six of these every year. Stewardship Partners, a nonprofit organization that helps private landowners restore and preserve the natural landscapes, wants to see 12,000 rain gardens in Puget Sound built in the next five years. Here's the map so far. Rain gardens are an extremely effective way to reduce water pollution. They act like native forests, storing, filtering, and releasing clean water to our streams and rivers. And rain gardens are way cheaper than adding more pipes.